Happy Thanksgiving week, everybody. What's going on? Welcome back to another picks video. And it is week 13. This season has flown by. I did not, to be honest with you, man, I was in no mood to watch football last, or NFL football, that is. I did watch the Buckeyes kick the Hoosiers ass. But yeah, I was in no mood to watch any NFL football because, you know, it's just hard to watch when, you know, the Bengals are like kind of just slumping right now it's just and losing in the most heartbreaking ways possible it's just hard to watch at times but you know I still was aware of what happened obviously what went on and um you know I'm just gonna take you to the list and um I'll just tell you who I think is gonna win and why so let's dive into it so let's start off with the Thanksgiving matchups man we got the Chicago Bears at the Detroit Lions this is Thanksgiving Thursday the Lions come into this matchup They've got tremendous momentum. They dominated the Colts in Week 12. Jared Goff just continues to just excel and find his rhythm. Jameer Gibbs is having an outstanding year. And yeah, I know that because he's on my fantasy team. But the Lions defense, um, they have a great pass rush, obviously. And they've, they held the Colts to just 94 yards in the second half. And, you know, you look at the Bears. I mean, they have a new offensive coordinator, Thomas Brown. And Caleb Williams has been showing how, you know, how much of a bright spot he really is. I mean, I was critical of him coming into the season, but he is really shaping up to be a good quarterback, man. So the team overall, though, they struggled to finish games, um, especially like last week they lost in overtime to the Minnesota Vikings. I just think the Lions' offensive line, um, I think they should be be able to dominate the Bears, not weak defense, but weak pass rush. Um, and I think that this kind of paves the way for a little bit, not a lock pick of the week, but a decisive Lions victory for me. I think that the Lions, they're just rolling right now, and I see no reason why they're going to lose at home to a division rival. Um, yeah, I'm going to go with the Lions on this one. Next up, another Thanksgiving matchup. This one, another divisional game. We got the New York Giants at the Dallas Cowboys. So the Cowboys are coming off a big win over the Washington Commanders. They got two kickoff return touchdowns, including one onside at the end, and... Rico Dowell, Dowdle had a good year, or good game. C.D. Lamb, uh, they he had a good game as well. Cooper Rush has been showing pretty good poise as a backup quarterback. He threw for two forty-seven against the Giants defense, and the Giants are just in absolute turmoil. I mean, one of their players, I mean, they said, you know, it wasn't Daniel Jones, and you could see, I mean, their offense cr crumbled even under Tommy DeVito's leadership. So their blowout loss to the Tampa Bay kind of just shows how bad, how down bad they are, and how bad their defense is right now and they just don't seem to be able to contain even average offenses and Cowboys defense although they're a little bit shaky in the fourth you know especially last week I think they should be able to suffocate this Giants team because the Giants just look lifeless at this point I'm gonna go Dallas on this one a pretty decisive divisional week victory here I just think that they're they're just too they're, they're just the better team coming into this game and I see I mean it is the Cowboys, so you could you could say they could drop this game, but I don't think it's going to happen. I'm going to go Dallas on this one. Next up, the last Thanksgiving game of the day. We got the Miami Dolphins at the Green Bay Packers. So the Packers, they pulled off a big win over the 49ers last week. Um, Josh Jacobs, he carried the offense with 106 rushing yards. He had three touchdowns, I believe. The Green Bay was outstanding in the red zone, especially. Um, and Tua, he's leading a red-hot Dolphins team, and... You know, the cold weather at Lambeau Field is a little bit of a weather change for Miami, to say the less. Um, but they got a Week 12 win over the Patriots. Their defense was outstanding. Um, Chop Robinson was amazing as well. The Packers' offensive line, I think that they're going to be able to handle the Miami's pass rush a lot better than New England can. And I think Jordan Love has a slight edge, obviously, over Tua because Tua's obviously been in the league longer. But Jordan Love has just he's proven he can stay um, you know, upright and just... I think he's shown that the Packers are just a better team coming into this game. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go home team on this one. I'm gonna go Packers in a, a, another great game. Uh, but I do think the Dolphins. I mean, they have to win to um, you know keep their playoff hopes you know intact because right now they're they're rolling right now. But the Packers could definitely you know put that to an end. So I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go Green Bay on this one. Next up, we got Black Friday football, another divisional game. We got the Las Vegas Raiders at the Kansas City Chiefs. So the Chiefs are finding ways to win, even if it's not their best. I mean, Mahomes, you saw he had a 40-yard run against Carolina. And, you know, the Raiders just, they've gotten really bad quarterback play from Gardner Minshew, Desmond Ritter, and, you know, 
D Denver had like I mean against Denver they had like a fake punt they had turnovers that it just doomed the Raiders. Um, I think Kansas City is my lock of the week, and also they have bulletin board material because the Raiders obviously you saw what their mockery of Patrick Mahomes with the Kermit the Frog stuff. I think that they just run them out of the gym here. It's not going to be like last Christmas Day in my opinion, so I'm going to go Kansas City on this one. And next up, we got another divisional game. We got the Houston Texans at the Jacksonville Jaguars. So Houston, man, their defense is the story here. D'Amico, I mean, D'Amico Ryans, they're, I mean, they're likely to, you know, create some more turnovers. But, man, Houston is spiraling. They lost to Tennessee last weekend. And they're strugg their, their offense is just struggling. CJ Stroud is really coming back down to earth after last year. Um, and you look at Jacksonville, I mean, Mac Jones has been inconsistent. And, you know, I think Houston's defense could take advantage here. And I think the Jags are going to suffer. I think if they lose and another team wins, I think they just get eliminated, if I'm not mistaken. Because I know there's an elimination scenario this weekend. I think Houston bounces back and wins. Not because of how good they are, but it's just... The, the, I thought the Texans were a clear Super Bowl team, but, you know, the Jags are just not a good team. I think they should be able to run them out of the gym here. Next up, we got the Indianapolis Colts at the New England Patriots. So the Colts showed some potential against the Lions. I mean, their red zone inefficiency, it just haunted them at the end, especially. And the Patriots are also reeling. I mean, they got outclassed by the Dolphins big time. Uh, Drake May struggled mightily. The defense had no answer for Miami's like explosive plays. Uh, the Colts' defense should be able to generate some pressure here. Um, and their offense is, you know, hopefully continuing to find rhythm. And their schedule looks a little light, so I think that's a little bit of a confidence builder heading into New England. So I think they should be able to take care of business here. And the Patriots, I just don't trust them right now. Uh, they, they're, they're not tanking, but they're not a good team enough for me to you know pick them over the Colts. So I'm going to go Indianapolis. They're in the hunt. They have a reason to play. And you know they seem to really care, unlike another team I'm going to get into real soon. But I'm going to go Indy on this one. Next up, we got the Las Vegas or La Los Angeles Chargers at the Atlanta Falcons. So Justin Herbert and the Chargers, they bounced or they lost unfortunately to the Ravens. Um I mean they they can shine against the Falcons defense here because the Falcons have struggled big time in the secondary. I mean they've allowed a 108.5 QB rating since week 5 and I think that Jesse or like whatever their defensive coordinator is, I think they're going to try to pressure Kirk Cousins here. And I think it's going to end up working out. I mean, the Kirk Cousins really struggles against pr pressure and good defenses. And I think Herbert has a little bit of a, not a bounce back, because I don't think he played terribly last weekend. But I think that, you know, going up against Atlanta, I just don't think they're going to be able to slow down, you know, their secondary struggles. Um, I just don't think they'll be able to slow down Justin Herbert here. So I'm going to go Chargers on this one. I think this is a pretty good game, actually. I think it could go either way, but honestly, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go Chargers to bounce back and just keep their uh, their their playoff potential run just going. Because I think they're gonna be a tough team to beat. Next up, we got the Seattle Seahawks at the New York Jets. So the Seahawks defense was outstanding against Arizona. Um, their run game was just amazing. They pressured Kyler Murray. Kobe Bryant had a pick six. Um, their, their defense is continuing to peak at the right time, but Seattle's defense, the thing is like, they, I mean, the Jets, they continue to struggle against their off against like, you know, their defense is, their defense is just reeling right now. I think Geno Smith, he should honestly connect here, but I'm getting a sneaky feeling that the Jets are just going to like, I mean, they lost big time bad, but I don't know. I just it's just going with a gut feeling here. I'm not saying Seattle's not legit. I'm just having some weird feeling. It's Aaron Rodgers against Seattle. Yeah, he's had some bad moments against Seattle, but he's also had some great moments. Maybe he turns back the clock a little bit. I don't think they drop this game, honestly. This is going to sound stupid, but I'm going to go with the New York Jets as my upset of the week. Um if Geno Smith can just continue to find time and deliver to his receivers, Seattle could win, but I just have a feeling that, you know, they had, see, the thing is the Jets, they almost beat the Colts last week, um, so, or, sorry, not last week, I apologize, um, was it, it was, uh, two weeks ago, I might, I apologize, yeah, they were on their bye last week, but, like, they almost beat the Colts, they beat the Texans, who, who are, mind you, they're reeling as well, but I just have some feeling that the Jets are going to win. So I'm actually picking this as an upset. And I do need an upset. So I'll just go with this one. 
I'm not fully sold on Seattle yet. Uh, so I'll go Jets on this one. Why not? Next up, we got the Tennessee Titans at the Washington Commanders. So the Commanders, man, their offense has been inconsistent. I mean, Cl- Cliff Kingsbury's play calling has been underwhelming. I mean, they lost, I believe they lost to Philly in their last game. Um, I just have some, I just don't know, man, with the Commanders right now because it just feels like they're coming down to earth. Sorry, they they lost to Dallas. They lost to Philly the weekend before. So they've lost two straight divisional games. And, you know, the Titans defense, they they were able to stifle Joe Mixon last week. And, you know, Tony Pollard had a breakout game as well. Um, Tennessee's defense is healthier, more aggressive. I think that they could capitalize on Washington's weakness, but I just don't know. I, I feel like Washington is just starving for a win. I think Dan Quinn's going to do everything in his power to get his guys fired up. I'm going to say the Commanders win with caution. I feel like, honestly, the the Titans definitely could win this game. Um, I was close to making this my upset, but I just think Dan Quinn and, you know, Jaden Daniels, they're going to just find a way to win this game. The Titans are not a great team. Um, so I'll go Commanders on this one with some caution, of course. And next up, guys, we got my game. We got... The Pittsburgh Steelers and the Cincinnati Bengals at Paycor Stadium. This is an AFC North battle. It'll be intense like it always is. The Steelers are looking back, you know, to bounce back from Thursday night football loss to the Cleveland Browns. So they stay in Ohio. Russell Wilson, he played well, but they just could not convert on key moments against the Browns. And just their coaching issues have I've played Pittsburgh for a long time. But um for the Bengals, man, Joe Burrow has been playing outstanding football, but our defense is no surprise, Swiss cheese. Joe Burrow has been shaky. Um, I just, sorry, not I apologize. Joe Burrow's defense has been shaky, and it's just been demoralizing the team. And shame on them because, you know, every time this guy drives down the field, we lose in the most, and then the defense gives up a big play. They lose in the most heartbreaking way possible. Don't get me wrong. The defense was good against the Chargers in the second half, but why can't we have that in the first half? I mean, my God, man. This is just infuriating, and I, you guys know how I feel about the Steelers. I can't stand the Steelers, but we always seem to lose against them. For some reason, they're a mental block. I mean, we've lost 14 of the last 18 meetings against these guys. They swept us last year. Granted, that, that was with Jake Browning. But we just can't beat this team. How are they three and a half games ahead of us? We clearly have such a much better offense, and... I just can't believe we're in this situation. In Burrow's prime, Chase's prime, Higgins is you know almost out the door. We're doing this BS. Shame on this team. Shame on every single coaching you know staff member on this team. They should be ashamed. More of that in my preview. I can't believe we're in this situation, and I'm so glad I have not talked about this team you know, in the last, like, seven, eight days. I said I wasn't going to make a Bengals video since this preview. Well, it's about time. I'm going to put it out. I'll probably have it out by Thursday. So, there's no reason. They've showed nothing. I can tell you right now, I have a feeling the Bengals could bounce back. They've showed me nothing. I I had that feeling against the Chargers last week. Yeah, they came back and won. whoop de doo They lost the game. They found ways to lose. That's what bad teams do. Bad franchises. Bad teams. They find ways to lose. It doesn't matter, comeback or not. It was 27-6. to 6. They came all the way back against the amazing defense. They tied the game only for them to lose. They were in field goal range. McPherson bombed two kicks because, he's, you know, he all of a sudden just can't kick anymore. I've seen enough of him. I, I would cut him, honestly. If I'm being honest with you, I'd cut him. Look, bringing in a new kicker. I don't care. He did something in 2021. He did good in 2022. I don't care. I'm done with him. So are we going to win this game? I'm sorry. I'm not going to pick us to win. I'm going with the Steelers on this one. And I hate that I have to pick the Steelers in our stadium to win. But the Bengals did it to themselves. They're still in the hunt, but they don't care. They would rather just, they would rather just you know, put a ping pong ball on the table and just, you know, pray to some weak superstition that that's going to save their season, huh? How about you beat a rival to start the game and or beat, beat, beat the rival to start this you know, stretch outside of the bye. Maybe then you'll actually get your, maybe then you'll actually get some fan support. Don't expect any Bengals fans to be at that game. There's going to, there's, I'm telling you right now, there's going to be 50% Steeler fans at that game. Terrible towels. Because the Bengals have done nothing. 
to earn fan support this year. They've won one home game all year, and they've lost games in the most heartbreaking or crushing way. They've done nothing to earn it. Don't give this, this team has given false hope to every single Cincinnati Bengals fan out there in games, only for them to get just suck it right out of us. This team has done nothing to earn any respect from us fans. So, yeah, I'm not going to pick you guys. I, I had some feeling. I was like, okay, I'm going to pick the Bengals last week. You know, they bounced back, hopefully, against the Chargers. No, they blew that one, too. So, they just don't seem to be taking it seriously. Uh, Zach Taylor's losing the locker room. I just think it's. I just think they're a mess right now. Unfortunately, I'm going to go Steelers, and just a shame that I have to do that. What a shame I have to do that. But thank you, Bengals. It's all your fault. Don't blame me. Anyway, next up, we got the Arizona Cardinals at the Minnesota Vikings. So the Vikings are riding some overtime wins, or, or, or an overtime win against Chicago, rather. Um, they're keeping pace with Detroit. I mean, they're only a game out, but Jordan Addison, TJ Hawkinson has been proven to be, you know, reliable. Um, Arizona struggled against Seattle. Um, Kyler Murray did not have a good game. He was under, you know, constant pressure all game, and he threw up really bad pick six. And Minnesota's got a superior just a superior coaching and, you know, superior talent. I just don't see how they don't prevail. And, you know, when one when one guy just doesn't get going, Justin Jefferson, he had 27 yards last week, another guy can step up. And that's the best part about this team. They play collectively and they win games. So I'm going to go Minnesota on this one. But I do think the Cardinals cover. Kyler Murray has a little bit of a bounce back. But I'm going to say Minnesota wins 27-24. to 24. And we go to the 4 p.m. slate, guys. We got the Los Angeles Rams at the New Orleans Saints. So the Rams got absolutely dominated by the Eagles last week. Um, they fought, they face a much easier test in New Orleans, don't get me wrong. But they, they just, you know, Alvin Kamara, Taysom Hill, their, their threats, don't get me wrong. But Jer Derek Carr is just mistake prone. Saints defense has just struggled against the run. So I think the Rams, they just know how to control the ground game. And um, I think they're just going to force Derek Carr into some errors here. And I think that they get a big win here. I'm going to go Rams on this one. Um, Saints are just not a good team, and um, I think the Rams, they just bounce back and they win the game. <clears throat> Next up, another divisional game. We got the Tampa Bay Buccaneers at the Carolina Panthers. So Tampa's playoff hopes are alive. They got a big win over the Giants last week, and Bucky Irving, he led the, a big ground attack. Baker Mayfield, he regained some, some confidence. Um, the Panthers, they did put up a good fight against Kansas City, uh, but they fell short. But Bryce Young did have... A lot of improvement in his game, man. So they seem to have he, he seems to bring a little bit of a spark there. Uh, but Bucks just look too good right now. You know they got a balanced offense, they got an aggressive defense. I think that they should give him an edge here. I don't think that the Panthers upset the Bucks here. I think that the Bucks they just win and they keep it rolling. I think they're aware they've they've dropped some games. So I think they want to get some games back here. So I'm gonna go Tampa on this one to get a win over Carolina. But Bryce Young continues to show improvement. Next up. We got a battle of the birds. We got the Philadelphia Eagles at the Baltimore Ravens. So the Eagles are firing on pretty much all cylinders, man. I mean, Saquon Barkley is re leading a historic rushing performance, you know, attack. Matthew Stafford just got smothered by that Philadelphia defense. Then you look at the Ravens. I mean, Derrick Henry, he overpowered the Chargers. But their defense, I mean, they have struggled against, you know, they, their defense has struggled against, you know, some good passing games. I mean, even Russell Wilson had a little bit of a good... He struggled as well, but he had a good game. But Herbert was able to take advantage, and there was a lot of holding calls on that defense as well in the in the parts that I saw. But Philadelphia's got a good offensive line. I think that they should be able to control this game, but I think Ravens fans don't need to worry too much about that offense, you know, because I do think that the not I'm not saying they shouldn't worry about it, but I'm saying like I think Lamar can definitely match that against the you know Philadelphia's uh, pretty good defense, but I think that Lamar and them just I think that they're just desperate to get a win here. I think that they can definitely compete with the Eagles. And honestly, I don't know if Philadelphia's favorite here, but I'm going to go Baltimore on this one. I think that, you know, I think that Eagles, if they want to win this game, they just got to feed the run. Um, but I think the Ravens are going to do that too. I think it's going to be a really good game between two great running backs. Um, but yeah, I'm going to go I'm gonna go Baltimore over Philadelphia on this one. So yeah, I think that, you know, it just comes down to who... Uh, Executes better, so I'll say Baltimore to get it done. Next up, we got Sunday Night Football. We got the San Francisco 49ers at the Buffalo Bills. So Buffalo's, I mean, 
their pass rush is going to be a nightmare for San Francisco. I'll tell you that right now. If Brock Purdy's sidelined, um, I think that I think it was Kyle Allen that took over. I just think that I I just don't think that uh, San Francisco is going to be able to handle it. And Brandon was it Brandon Allen? I forgot it was. I think it's Brandon Allen. I apologize, but he couldn't generate any offense for San Francisco. Um, Buffalo's offense is rolling right now. Amari Cooper, Dalton Kincaid. I think they're going to just exploit a weak, you know, San Francisco secondary. And you saw that against Green Bay. I think the Bills should honestly dominate this game. And I think that they will. I'm going to go Buffalo on this one to get a big win here um, on Sunday Night Football. So, yeah, give me the Buffalo Bills to get a big primetime win. And just, I think they, I believe they clinched with a Miami loss and a Bills win. So there you go. I got the Bills clinching a playoff spot because I do have the Packers beating the Dolphins as well. So next up, we got Monday Night Football. We got the Cleveland Browns at the Denver Broncos. So the Denver's defense has been the backbone of their success. I mean, Brandon Jones, Cortland Sutton has led the way. They led the way in a win over uh, Las Vegas last week. Cleveland, yes, they upset Pittsburgh, but I just don't know if they're going to be able to repeat the same offensive consistency that they had last week. And even against Pittsburgh, they almost let them back in the game and won it. Um, it was just Pittsburgh's like just lack of execution on offense that really allowed them to creep back into the game. But Denver's offense, I think they're going to play smart here. Jameis Winston's in for a a rough game. I feel I feel like Denver's defense can cause them some trouble. Um, I don't think Cleveland. I think Cleveland comes into this game. Don't get me wrong. I think that they'll come pissed off just because of you know what people are saying about them even after that win against Pittsburgh, but. That's a divisional game, you know, so you can expect nothing less. I mean, it's AFC North, you know, that's just stuff that happens. But Denver should be able to play some smart football here. If they do, I think they'll play mistake free. Um, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go Denver on this one. I think that they get a big win. Um, so yeah, give me the Broncos. And that'll wrap it up, guys. Hope you guys have a great Thanksgiving break. Enjoy the family time. Enjoy, you know, everything, the turkey, whatever you guys eat. Uh, This will be out the day before. I'll have my preview out on Thursday. You guys have a great one. Like, comment, subscribe. See you guys later.